Welcome back, and here's the update for Monday and Tuesday. So what we're looking at here is the uh, mold for the front windshield, and we actually put it back under the machine and just ran it around and sort of following it along with a marker have laid out um, where the actual dimensions of the window is. So um, when it's being laid up in the mold, um, the people laying it up will be able to see where it goes. And here we're actually setting up a hot wire so we can cut some of our bits of foam into thinner bits to use for bracing. And we're actually going to be ordering some thinner foam so we won't have to do that. But um, these these uh, molds are all going to get some bracing on the back and you'll see here in a little bit we sort of started doing on the one for the windshield. But these are the you know left and right windows and again put those under the machine and also just ran the marker around there just to show the outlines of where the um, windows are going to be. So uh, you, know, you can see when they're laying them up exactly kind of where it is. And I've been uh, doing some more sanding on this overhead console. Still needs a little more work, but nearly there. And here is the uh, front window mold, getting the bracing sort of put on it. And meanwhile, uh, Devin here is putting the last coat of wax on the uh, plug for the nose. It uh, gets about five coats of wax and then it's sort of like a mold releaser, but it's really kind of just a wax. Um, and we also put some extra on right before we pull the mold on that. And uh, in the meantime, the jig there now it's off the table. And I had to put one last brace in there to stop it from uh, from racking it at all. And it's pretty stable; shouldn't have any problems with that. And so you remember from earlier, this is what uh, it looks like here. And so with that. Uh, kind of cradle that we're going to make out of fiberglass in the middle there that's the next thing that we're going to do so what we've done is we've put the uh, the plug for the fuselage back up on the machine and here you can see it and I've actually run around with the machine and just again using a marker just marked out where those um, where the parts of the cradle are going to be laid out so that you can see just use a black marker on there and so soon we'll be uh, creating that just with about three uh, layers of fiberglass. So until next time, thanks.